Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Today we have Algorand daily update, but before we begin, join the monthly subscription, only few spots left and I have the link in the description down below. Buy me a coffee slash Mind Your Crypto. You will get an automated system with buying and selling opportunities, a manual system with buying and selling opportunities, but it doesn't stop there. You will also get educational videos, personal guidance, market updates, and many, many more benefits. Okay, so you can also join the Telegram groups that I have the link in the description down below. And of course, hit the like button, subscribe because it helps so much with the daily updates. Let's go to a non-biased and of course, a realistic review of Algorand doing a technical analysis. Let's go right there to see that the 1.92 is our first support level in case we drop the, there. Okay, and the 1.75. Uh, okay, is it for sure that we go down here? No, we might go up from there and we will see our next price target, which is around the 2.43 to 2.48. Around this area is our next price target and we will see some important stuff right there in the price analysis as well you can see the volume is increasing for algorand each day each star frame passes by, passing by and you can see that we have huge huge volume right there for algorand the moving average is increasing as you can see of the volume let's go to the MACD a little bit all the way upwards you can see the blue line crossing up the signal line and going all the way upwards okay this is what we want for the MACD pretty pretty nice nice stuff right there we are making some higher lows and of course higher lows and higher highs for the price as well okay let's go to algorand in the usdt on the four hour frame you can see on the four hour frame we have a high risk that means that we might be getting a little bit down and then up again it is very very healthy to do that also for the commodity channel index and especially for the stochastic rsi this is the indicator that we are looking on an impulsive wave okay if we have an impulsive wave this is the indicator that we are looking forward to okay so if the indicator if the stochastic rsi is going above the 80 then we are having a very very overbought situation an extreme overbought situation and therefore we want just a little bit to correct this is nothing this doesn't mean anything okay so the price might go a little bit further down and then go upwards it is very healthy if you see algorand uh correcting for just a tiny bit to go a little bit downwards then upwards again so we do not have anything bearish for now we do not have any top tweezer pattern any uh shooting star any evening star pattern candlestick pattern i mean uh we do not hold anything bearish for now we are above the 20 day ema you can see that when we go down from the 50 day ema we it is a great buying opportunity okay so you can see algorand is going higher and higher i do not know why many people are saying that algorand reached the all-time high it didn't reach the all-time high but it is close enough okay so let's go now to the daily frame on the daily frame we have the stochastic rsi above the 80 and now it seems like it wants to go down uh the daily rsi now is going up as well you can see on the daily rsi we are holding a high risk but anyway we are keeping the higher low pattern the higher high not a British RSI divergence commodity channel index the same just have in your mind that we are having a very very high risk for now on the daily frame okay and if we just correct a little bit it is all good it is all fine do not worry on the daily MACD we are looking like the four hour frame we had a bullish cross and now we're going all the way upwards this is how we want the altcoins to look like okay this is how we want them to look like let's open up a little bit the SSL hybrid in case we have a selling opportunity not of course yet we had a buying opportunity back on 31st August not a selling opportunity yet and now we are going all the way up which you can see there we had a buying opportunity not a selling opportunity yet but sometimes the SSL hybrid uh, appears like we have a red arrow and then it disappears okay so I did not know if this is correct because we might have uh, some selling orders right there and now they disappeared okay it might actually happen and if you see that please uh, tell me write it in the comments I have seen that with my eyes that it appears to have a selling order and then it disappears okay so anyway uh, these are looking good we have extreme overbought situation for sure but we are on an impulsive wave okay that's why we do not care for the time being all right so anyway let's go to the algorand bitcoin chart and here the next uh price target that we have 
is this one right here 0 0.40 to 50 okay we have this price target for algorand we reached our previous target we had and it is all looking good on the four hour frame looks identical to the usdt chart we have even the stochastic RSI. all of the three risk metrics are in an extreme overbought situation so that means that we might be correcting just a little bit but due to the fact that we are on an impulsive wave we do not care let's go to the daily frame on the daily frame you will see the same pretty pretty high volume right there for algorand bitcoin chart you can see that so such a high volume right there on the daily frame we haven't seen this uh so soon for algorand and you can see now that we are going a little bit in an extreme overbought situation on the daily frame as well okay so i tell you even if we just correct just a tiny bit do not care okay do not worry about that so right now what do we have okay we have some support and resistance levels all right so the support levels i will just delete one here and i will delete the ones that we do not need the lines that we do not need and the price right so therefore we should be holding these price labels here okay we should be looking at these price labels here the 1.92 1.75 and 1.61 tether usd is it necessary that we drop down to 1.61 no we might not drop down to the 1.69 we might stop around this first support level of area right here and then we climb back up to our next price target is it for sure that we go to the 2.43 um not for sure but it has many chances okay it has many chances to approach the 2.43 to 2.47 around there area okay so for algorand it means that it can go there but do not uh this is not the all-time high okay this is definitely not the all-time high we had greater all-time highs right there for algorand and of course it was around three tether usd if i remember correctly uh people saying that it reached the all-time high no it reached the previous high we formed back on 12 February, okay, and went even, even higher than on the high we formed back on 12 around there, February 2021, okay. So right now, what we are looking, the next price target is the 2.47. Do we have a risk on the weekly frame? Let's see a little bit the weekly frame. Right now, yes, we have. As we are going above the 70, it is very, very possible to go upwards again, but always keep that in your mind that all the altcoins can keep going up forever. For now, it is looking very, very good, and it seems like it can go even, even higher, okay? Both for the RSI, the stochastic RSI as well, and the commodity channel index okay but for now of course i have to see to say what i'm seeing on the charts and what i'm seeing is a very very strong um overbought situation right there for algorand that doesn't mean that we are going down but it means that uh, as we are going up, we're having more and more risk and therefore you need to take some profits you need to book some profits to not be greedy of course a correction of Bitcoin right now, another correction here, if we have a pattern like we followed back on May, let me take you back on May, where we had the bearish candle, you can see here, we went a little bit sideways, then we just went down again. So if this happens and we find resistance on the 20 day MA, be sure that maybe, maybe, we are going down as well and then we might lose some important support levels for many many altcoins there if we have another correction right here for bitcoin so we should be having uh, in our in our mind that now bitcoin isn't stable like it was back then for example okay it isn't so stable right now so this is another factor you should take into consideration that if we have a bearish moment right there we might be getting down for now, Algorand seems like it can go to the 2.43 and 2.47. Write in the comments if you want me to daily update or you want me to update for Algorand. And of course, do not forget to join the monthly subscription. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day wherever you are. See you soon with many, many more videos. Bye.